We're talking about willpower. Yes. But okay. Every single day, I feel a deficiency of my ability to get up and go. I feel lazy and inadequate most of the time. Um, so I feel this deficiency of willpower. Chris is saying it doesn't exist. Where do you sit on Can this? I referee? Yeah. If there were a spectrum, in fact, we're on a spectrum, non-belief and belief. Yeah. I would sit more on this end. I think what we call willpower is actually misconstrued and what you think of as a deficiency is probably a failure in other dimensions. So when you say, I don't have enough willpower, my question, if I were your therapist, would be, okay, so tell me about your mo original motivation. Tell me about your plan. Tell me about your resources. Tell me why that would make a difference to your life. So all of these things end up being bundled into this notion of willpower. And actually, it's quite often the fact that people haven't really thought about what they want and how to get there and prepared for the worst case scenario. So what happens when people tend to make plans is that they make plans for their best selves. And they're not prepared for, I've been up late, I've had a hard day at work, someone's shouted at me. And it's at that point where they're feeling the worst that they don't have a plan that they can put into practice. And it feels like they don't have enough willpower, but actually what they've not done is to plan for the person that they are. Yes, and I, I suppose I quite often... I think we can wrap this up here. <laughs> <laughs>